remember Patrick uh, asked me if I knew Gary was on the registry. I said, yeah, you don't have any secrets. <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly, we know it all. We love everything about each other. And, um, Pat's like, well, how did it happen? Did you did You didn't tell me your free phone. So, <laughs> I told him, you know, Gary and his girlfriend got caught having sex. They're both in rage. And, uh, like I said before, once you're on the registry, you're on the registry. Gary volunteered at the soup kitchen with the homeless, and um, he volunteered his time daily. He was down there. They loved him down there, and he couldn't get enough of them. <laughs> That's the way Gary is. That's just who he was. Our doors were always open, even when he was making fifteen to two, fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars every paycheck. He didn't care. Just money. Um, our house was always open. He fed everybody. He, I mean, we know how people that didn't have a place to go, and when it got colder out, Gary gave him, I mean, literally the shirt on his back, his coat, he'd bring a brand new coat out, still with the tag on it, and be like, here, man, you probably think it's more than I do. I, Gary just had a huge heart. And that's who he was, but that's not who they're telling you he is. All they see is this label. Derek, you know, he shot my husband 15 times and Gary was still alive calling for help, dialing 911 and conveniently they couldn't find a sex offender who was calling for help. They never, nobody came to his rescue. Yeah, every time we go there, he's smiling, Derek. Every time we walk in, he's smiling from ear to ear. He's got this little cocky air about him, like he thinks that what he's done is just so wonderful or that it's so funny and just nonchalant, airy. Arrogance about him. <laughs> Trying to explain to my kids, and everybody's like, oh, Pat's such a hero. He killed these sex offenders. He, he is the hero of children. He's not a hero of children. <laughs> if that's the case, I wish you could have seen the look on my baby's face when they had some goodbye to their daddy. You're worried about taxpayers and their dollars. Really? My husband paid taxes? I pay taxes? Why are we not worried about our lives? How about worrying about the value of human life? How about worrying about the heart that was beating in my husband's chest? How about worrying about my babies having to grow up without their daddy? How about ruining my happily ever after? Did you see what they said? Did you see? They're, everybody's so quick to be like, oh, what, what a horrible person. Did you see the label they've got? A sex offender label on them. Did you see what laid in the heart of the people that are supposed to be our common ground citizens? The hatred and the evil that lays in their heart? Nobody cared. Nobody cared what he did to my family. Nobody cared a, a horrible thing that he did. If somebody doesn't like me because I'm married to a sex offender, if somebody doesn't like my husband for being a sex offender, it does not make it okay for them to dehumanize me or my husband or my children and make it so that it's okay to just snuff us out like we never mattered. That, that whole registry right there, that's, that just gives one, a psychopath one more initiative to have a list of who and where and when they can kill people. That's not even just like a snap case. That's, that's pure hatred just for years and years to have that seated in your heart and know that you're planning something through like that to see a family grow and blossom and develop and know that you're just going to take them and destroy it that i'm going to let people know that gary isn't a person on the registry he's not just that he is a man. He is a man of many talents, of many different back. 
little stepping stones that he to become this person. He's done so many different things, so many different jobs, so many, so many different walks. He's taken just millions of paths to get to that one little point in life for Pat Drum to take that out. Well, that isn't okay.